Hey guys, HDV here. Now, most Pokemon that evolve do so after leveling up. This can be triggered by gaining experience in battle or by using a rare candy. Sometimes, several additional conditions must be met in addition to gaining a level for a Pokemon to evolve, such as being at or above a specific level, knowing a move, or being in a specific location. When these conditions are met, a Pokemon will attempt to evolve every time it gains a level unless the conditions are removed. A Pokemon left in the daycare will not evolve though, even if the conditions are met. Before Generation 7, Pokemon would not evolve if the player loses the battle, no matter if the conditions have been met. With that being said though, some Pokemon take it a step further and have even crazier evolution methods, and so, looking into this topic a bit more, Today's video takes a look at the top 5 craziest Pokemon evolution methods. Don't hesitate to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Starting things off and claiming the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video is Mantike, and it's evolving into Mantine. Mantike is a water type Pokemon that first appeared in the 4th generation of Pokemon games, being Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl and Pokemon Platinum. It has a wide blue body with large fins, which it uses to swim and it closely resembles a Manta Ray, only without the long tail. As we all know, Mantike can evolve into a much stronger form, Mantine. But Mantike is one of the few Pokemon that needs a special condition to be met before it can change to its adult stage. In order for Mantike to evolve into a Mantine, you need to meet the only condition it needs to evolve, which is to have a Remoraid in your Pokemon party while Mantike levels up at least once. This is a very unique evolution method, but you can see how it makes sense seeing as Mantine actually has a Remoraid under its fin. The cool thing though, is that you don't even lose your Remoraid when evolving Mantike into a Mantine. For all of these reasons, Mantike takes the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video is Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a humanoid Pokemon with a predominantly pale purple body and brown hips and feet that resemble short pants and shoes. The cool thing about Tyrogue's evolution chart is that it can evolve into one of three different Pokemon, being Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan or Hitmontop. The evolution method for this Pokemon is even cooler though, as the Pokemon that you evolve Tyrogue into completely depends on the Pokemon's stats. Starting at level 20, if you want your Tyrogue to evolve into a Hitmonlee, then you will have to make sure that your Pokemon's attack is higher than its defense. You can obviously achieve this by using EP training or by using the expensive Pokemon vitamins. If you want your Tyrogue to evolve into a Hitmonchan, then you will have to make sure your Pokemon's defense is higher than its attack stat. Again, you can do this through EV training or by using Pokemon Vitamins. Finally, if you want your Tyrogue to evolve into a Hitmontop, then you will have to make sure that your Pokemon's attack and defense stats are both the same. Again, you can accomplish this by doing the method we've already gone over. For all of these reasons, Tyro takes the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the halfway point in today's top 5 video is Feebas, and evolving it into the beautiful Milotic. Feebas is a shabby, old looking fish like Pokemon with a light brown body covered in dark, irregular spots. Now, Feebas has a very unique way of evolving into its evolved form, which of course we will go over right now. Feebas evolves into Milotic when its beauty stat reaches the maximum. In order to do that, the trainer would need to feed it beauty puffins to increase its beauty stat and then it will still need to level up. So sounds like a pretty tedious task if you ask me, but then again, the prize you get at the end of it is a Milotic, so the whole ugly duckling concept is pretty cool in this situation. However, in Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, with no contests, an item known as the Prism Scale was introduced, and if you let your Feebas hold this item whilst trading it, the Pokemon would evolve into a Milotic. This actually means that to date, Feebas is the only Pokemon that has two completely different ways of evolving into the same Pokemon. Pretty cool if you ask me. 
For all of these reasons, Freebass takes the number 3 spot in today's top 5 video. Coming in at the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video is Carablast and Shelmet, and evolving them both into their evolutions as Scavalier and Excelgor. Carablast is a round, bipedal Pokemon with a primarily blue carapace that compromises a horn at the tip, while Shelmet is a bivalve or snail-like Pokemon. Carablast and Shelmet are both bug-type Pokemon introduced in Generation 5. However, with these two Pokemon joining the world of Pokemon, the new evolution method they brought with them is really cool and unique, but unfortunately, you're gonna need a friend to do it. Carablast evolves into a Scabalier when traded for a Shelmet, which evolves into Excelgore simultaneously. However, neither of the Pokemon evolve if at least one holds an Everstone during the trade. I thought this was a really cool new form of evolution, and it really does help promote trading between trainers, especially if you're wanting to fill up your Pokedex. For all of these reasons, Carablast and Shelm evolving into a Scavalier and Excelgore take the number 2 spot in today's top 5 video. Finishing things off though, and claiming the number 1 spot in today's top 5 video is Inke, and evolving it into a Malamar. Inke is a dual type, dark and psychic type Pokemon introduced in Generation 6. It is a primarily blue squid like Pokemon. It has a transparent mantle that resembles a hat with a pink inner body overlaid with yellow lights. Now, the evolution method introduced along with Inke and Malamar is so unique that it actually causes you to have to do something outside of the actual Pokemon game. After getting your Inke all the way up to level 30, Inke has the ability to evolve, but in order to successfully complete it, you need to turn your 3DS upside down when it levels. Yes, seriously, flip it over and hold it the wrong way during a level and it'll turn into Malamar. For me, this was such a cool new inventive way to evolve a Pokemon, and it just makes you wonder what Pokemon might come up with next for evolving their creatures. For all of these reasons though, Inke takes the number one spot in today's top 5 video. But with that, wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I have a couple top 5s coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you have the time, and also subscribe if you like my content. That's everything from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.